Hey guys, I'm all back again. Welcome to day 52 in the life of the Galaxy S23. Today I'm going to talk about how you can help with your banana gate issues for all those of you who are not aware of what that is. With the S23, some of the units, when you take close-up photos, you may notice that the images are blurry. So, unfortunately, I believe it's a hardware problem at this point, but something you can do to improve it is to rely on the 3x camera instead of using the main camera. So here is an example of that. First photo here with the star rays, this is just a regular picture taken at 1x using the main camera. As you can see, the photo and the quality is pretty good just in terms of the one that are focused. The middle and bottom strawberries are fine, but you will notice that the top two strawberries, they are a little bit out of focus there. But if you switch to the 3x camera, then you do get a more zoomed in and cropped in view, but you still get the same amount of detail. But when you use a 3x camera, you have to pull the camera out further due to the fact that it's zooming in more. I don't know, it's not the perfect solution, but at least it will reduce some of the blurriness issue. So you kind of have to prioritize which one you want more. Do you want the fuller picture with all the stuff in the background and you get really good details in 80% of the photo? Or do you just want to get the majority of the objects captured? Quality is slightly lowered, I must admit. I think the first photo, it looks better, but there is some blurriness issue. But the second photo, everything is at least balanced. I know it's probably not the best solution what you want to hear. It is one minor workaround that I've found to help with the blurriness issue. And it comes in handy, especially if you're taking pictures of text or receipts. If you're using a main camera and the edges are blurred out, then you can't read some of the text. So if you switch to a 3x camera, hold your phone further away, you may find that you get a better photo, such as this one right here. This is me using the 3x camera and I can read everything just fine. But if you just use the regular camera, you may notice that the edges are still going to be blurry. So try that to see if it helps. Here's another example of some spring rolls. The middle is okay, but you will notice the, the one on the right is a bit out of focus. And then I switch over to the 3x camera. It is more zoomed in, but I think this photo looks better overall. Here's another example of some soup. This is the main camera holding the phone up vertically. And it looks okay. You do see some blurriness around the edges of the soup. But if you turn the phone horizontally, this is what you're gonna get. Slightly better, I guess, but the edges are still blurry. But if you do 3X, I think you get a more consistent overall picture. Although you do sacrifice some quality there, but at least everything is more balanced. So it's up to you. It seems like the main camera does let in more light and it's an okay picture if you're taking a look at it quickly and just glancing at it. But the 3X camera, you do get more detail. So here's another example. This is the main camera of my dessert. So the middle area looks fine. The left side is out of focus. And here it is at 3X. In general, I guess everything is a little bit more balanced, but the color is not the color and detail is not quite there. The right side is still slightly blurry. But you go back to the first photo, you do capture more of the area, but it is not the greatest photo either. So it's kind of up to you. I think if you do the 3X mode, everything is a little bit more balanced compared to the 1X, where certain areas of photos look really nice, but the other areas are out of focus. And it all depends what you are capturing as well. So here's me at a grocery store. If you snap a picture from far away, everything looks fine. You can read all the text okay. And you go into 3X, this looks fine as well. Same thing here, 1X and 3X. And it all depends on the lighting in the area. The supermarket, they got super bright lighting, so everything looks perfect. No blurriness. So long story short, if you have the banana gate problem, Try using your 3x camera, hold your phone slightly further away. It is not the perfect solution, but in some scenario I have found that I did achieve slightly better results. So once again, the main camera and the banana gate issue remains the biggest problem of the Galaxy S23. But overall, if you're taking pictures of everything far away, it should be fine. Wide angle is great, video recording is great. 
The super fast Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is really efficient. You get great battery life. If you use your phone a lot, eight hours straight, that's all you get in terms of battery life. So it's either you get your six to eight hours of screen on time if you're staring at your phone all day, or on the other hand, if you don't use your phone as much, you can get a full day of battery life. And in theory, since you're not using your phone as much, you're likely just gonna get two to three hours of screen on time. So it's either one or the other, you can't have both. So it all depends on your usage style. But overall, it's a pretty flexible phone and I do like that it's compact and has a lot to offer. And on day 52, let me just give you guys a quick summary of that. Woke up at 6.30 a.m., did some jogging in the morning, and then I pretty much worked for the rest of the day. Nothing too exciting there. Snapped some pictures that I showed you guys earlier. Here's some flowers that I found on my walk. Started playing with all different kind of scenarios, wide angle, zoomed in, 3x, and all that. And pretty much just worked for the rest of the day. And by the time I went to bed, Around 8.40 p.m. my phone is at 62%. So the phone has been in a while, I charge it all day when I'm at work. Even though I use the camera pretty heavily in the morning, throughout the day it was just sitting on a wireless charger, it will still last me by the time I go to bed. So it's not sitting on there the whole time, I take it on, I put it off. So depending on your usage style, it should serve you just fine. This wraps up day 52 in the life of the Galaxy S23. Please check out my last video on the A54 if you haven't already. Remember to like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video.